Hello, my name's Jack Seward, and uh, today I'm going to talk about... Hello, my name is Jack Seward, uh, and uh, this is my first video blog thing. Hello, okay, um, everyone else is doing this vlog thing, so, uh, you know... Mina and Lucy keep giggling to each other about theirs. I'm a first year medical student, so uh, I must have uh, more interesting stories. Not to say that they're not interesting, um, just that I see more weird people than they do. I don't mean the patients, I mean I mean the other medical students. These are people who are supposedly normal, they're, they're meant to be. They think I'm weird because I take medication for my anxiety, yet they'll go out drinking all night and then medicate themselves in the morning for their hangover. Why do you do something like that? I mean. Why do something that needs repairing? You're gonna lose all your brain cells. Weird. And yes, I saw the vlogs where you talk about me fancying Lucy. Thanks for that. Like I'm some undiscovered member of a tribe without internet. It's fine. It's cool. I've got lots of lady action going on over here. All the time. Obviously, uh, I had to clear them all out here because, uh, yeah, too much, too much noise. All the ladies went to a party last night. Lucy was there. Uh, I sort of, uh, I suppose, um, asked her out, kind of, um, for coffee. She said no, but it's it's fine. I think two other guys had asked her out, and she was probably uh, fed up with it. So, so there's probably there's, there's still a chance. Yeah, probably not. Lucy, if you, if you saw this, um, my office still stands. Just coffee. No pressure. So we saw our first dead body today. We had two pukers. One guy just completely fainted. Another guy just left and never came back. I don't know what he was expecting to see <laughs> in a medical university. I was okay with it. A bit creeped out. That used to be a person. Now it's a lump of meat and bone. I mean... But the smell. Oh god, the smell. Dude. It stank like musty cabbage. Oh, and when I got back to my room, my clothes stank as well. Why does death smell of musty cabbage? How is that fair? It's undignified. I don't want to smell of musty cabbage when I die. Deodorant. Tomorrow, though, we're going to dissect the corpses. Yay. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Maybe I'll just get some paper clothes. Burn them afterwards. I think my hair still smells of it. And last week we met our first psychiatric case. Can't say his name, although he did tell us to uh, pass on his message to all we knew. He's got a blog and everything. Tumblr. I wrote down the address, but our tutor told us not to actually post it until he's checked all the legalities. I mean, there's nothing there. Usual stuff, secret societies, things running the world. You know the type. The worst bit is, he eats any insects he finds, and he finds a lot. It's like they're drawn to him. It's like the insect whisperer. He eats them all. Even the crunchy ones. No, especially the crunchy ones. While he's talking to you. Mouth open. Not cool. If you're gonna eat, eat with your mouth closed. Especially with insects. We asked him why, and he said he was trying to draw strength from them for when his boss comes. I don't know. Called them children of the night. I said, look, mate. Hospital food ain't that bad. He did not laugh. Like, at all. And then he ate another insect. Just stared at me, popped it right in. Put me right off my food. It's not like I need to eat again. Like, ever. These are the things they don't tell you when you become a medical student. Fun times. Oh, and before I forget, medical student top tip. Don't pick up the scalpel from the sharp end. Yeah. Otherwise, you won't have your top tips. Come back next time for more disgusting stories. And you never know, me and Lucy may have gone out on a date. Maybe. And please remember to comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up if you like it, go away if you don't. Yeah, medical.